Dozens turn out in Mountain Home tonight to demand answers from their city council, which is allowing a sex shop to open near a school. The shop is in clear violation of a city ordinance, but the council is so concerned about a lawsuit, it is actually considering changing the ordinance just to make the issue go away. Matt King is live in Mountain Home with tonight's big story. Michelle, Roland, many may be tempted to label this a situation of flip-flopping, flimsy leadership, putting money before their constituents. But a closer examination reveals a much older, more systemic conflict, local versus federal governance. We've been down this path, and it wasn't a fun. I don't think that our city should fold under pressure of maybe, possibly, a lawsuit. They're more concerned, as a city council, of the cost structure associated with threats of lawsuits than the rights of the citizens that are already here. John Urquiai's wife owns and runs the preschool with a view of Mountain Home's new adult bookstore from its front lawn. It's one of them situations not in my backyard. And when it comes to regulating yards, front and back, every city, town, and village in America has the right to pass and enforce local ordinances. But if an ordinance conflicts with state or federal law, individuals and entities can then challenge it in court, and a judge can rule it void. And in this case, federal code uh, the First Amendment trumps, as far as we're concerned, all of the others. Mountain Homes attorneys felt if they denied the romance stop its current location, the store could sue the city, win, take millions of its dollars, and still open up right down the street from Grace Montessori. And that's when we found out, no, you're not on solid ground here. You're on, you know, very shaky ground. The conflict grows trickier because the federal law in question is the First Amendment an ever-evolving rule of free speech we find ourselves having to constantly redefine, just as Mountain Home now finds itself repeatedly redefining the permissible distance from an adult store to a school, church, or park. Mapping and on Google, and we had everything set up. We were drawing circles on this to see, okay, where would they be allowed to go? And at a radius of 500 feet, there were exactly two possible locations. Not enough to obey our land's constitution, said the attorneys. So now the city wants to make it 300 feet. Way too close. But Mountain Home says constitutionally it must allow several of these stores before it can begin to enforce its own code. Just how many sex shops must open up before the city can say no without fear of losing a court battle? That is a very murky question. That then if you have the fourth one come in, then are you violating their rights by saying they can't come in because now you've got all of these little you know, circles, you know, established. In short, Mountain Home has no idea. Quite frankly, we don't have a clear answer for that right now. The precise meaning of the laws and case laws in question remains indistinct. 49 citizens in Allegiant Hall are pissed. Stand up for us and our community and the integrity of our community. And the romance stops still selling porn 462 feet from a preschool. Because you're so afraid of being sued. I don't know how many times we've heard that at all the different now, the new proposed code does more clearly define the ordinance's purpose, not to obstruct free speech, but to put these kinds of businesses in places where they're going to protect property values and neighborhoods and individuals. The code then cites land use studies in other U.S. cities connecting set adult businesses with rape, indecent exposure, and child molestation. Live in Mountain Home, Matt King, Fox 9 News at 9. An Idaho judge said.